Hey, this is Jennifer, and I want to share with you the Tour Creator platform from Google. Now, this lets you and your students create virtual tours that use 360 images that you can get from Street View or that you can upload yourself. And it allows you to give information and take your participants on a tour wherever you want them to go. So the first thing you're going to do is go to this website. I put the link in the description. And once you're here, you're going to click Get Started. And we're going to start by creating our first tour. So look at the top left where it says Plus New Tour, and let's select that. Now for every tour, we have to have two things to get it started. We have to have a, a title, and we have to have a cover photo. So I'm going to start with the title. Now this particular tour is going to be the Texas Revolution, because we're going to look at the battles that happened inside the Texas Revolution. So that's my title. And I'm going to come to select an image and pop over to my desktop to get a Texas flag. Now I can use that description box. It's not required to put anything in it, but I can um, just say a uh, tour of the Texas battles freedom. And then I can select a category that it's going to be in for other people to view. I'm going to pop that open and I think scrolling through history is probably the best choice. So I'm going to select history and then the create button right underneath. Now my tour is ready to start adding locations. So the locations you're going to visit are called scenes and there's that white bar across the bottom of your screen on the left hand side, it says add scene. So that's where we're going to put our first stop on the tour. Now, by default, it gives me the option to use Google Street View. And I can search for the location I want to go to. Or if I have a 360 image that I've taken either with um, a 360 camera or Street View on my iOS or Android device, I can use the upload option to add my own 360 images. I don't have any of those, so I'm just going to use Street View by searching the location. Now, I know that the first um, battle in the Texas Revolution was in Gonzales, Texas. So I'm going to look for Gonzales, Texas and let Google Maps drop me there. On the right hand side is the panel where I can preview the image. So I'm going to go ahead and swing around and see if this is the location that I want. And I see the museum there. I see the courthouse. And across the street, I see a square. Well, I know that that's Texas Hero Square. So that's really where I want it to go. So on the panel on the left hand side, you'll notice you've got a regular old map, Google map with Pegman right in the center. So I'm going to use that plus to zoom in so I can get closer to the map itself. And then I'm going to be able to move Pegman wherever I want. Now remember in Google Maps, if I click on Pegman, everything, click, I'm going to hold him down and drag him around. Everything that's blue is an image that I can use. So I want to use an image where I can see Texas Hero Square. So as I'm kind of dragging him around, notice what's happening on the right hand side. I'm getting an image, getting an idea of what that image looks like so that I can pick the best one. I kind of like that one right there with the flag in the middle. So I'm going to drop him. And then on the right hand side, I can spin around using my regular old cursor and see if that is a good place for my image. So I've got the street on one side and I have Texas Hero Square with the courthouse on the other. So this image makes me happy for this particular assignment to make this a part of my tour. I'm going to click add scene in the bottom right. And there is my image in my tour. Now the panel on the right hand side is information that I can add about the place. So this we know is the Battle of Gonzales. I'm going to go ahead and type the Battle of Gonzales as its title. 
Um, I have the location. It's telling me the exact street, but I could modify that if I want. I just want it to say Gonzales, Texas, not necessarily the street name also. So I'm going to take out that. Now in the description, I have 500 characters I can use to summarize what happened in the Battle of Gonzales. So if you want your students to create small summaries of what happened in those locations, that they can post those there. And then underneath I have credits where I could give credit to where I got the information, where I got the image, depending on what you want your students to create. Now, this is our first location. I want to add another location. So I'm going to go through that same process down on the bottom in that right that white bar. I can add a scene and pick my next place. Now I want you to notice that in the panel on the right hand side, if I hover over some of these other icons, I can see that I can add ambient music. So if I want um, a theme, musical theme running through the background, I can do that. Or I can add narration. So if there's something I want to tell about this place, or maybe I want there to be an audio um, recording of what happened instead of a text version of what happened, I can add that. And then we can add some points of interest on this particular 360 image and really make it a robust tool for students when they are telling stories, taking people on tours of locations or planning their future. So I'm going to pause here. The next video that you'll watch will show you how to add that audio. I hope this is helpful. I hope you make these with your kids. Watch the next video for more information and have a great day.